let's talk about Boruto episode four real quick. All right. Uh, I wanted to just quickly open up with the fact that I realized how how small of an amount of females are in the show. Um, if you look at Sarada and Chocho, they're literally the only female characters out of the Konoha Eleven, from what it looks like. Uh, I could be I could be wrong, but I don't know if I am. Uh, it, it literally seems that way, okay? The, like, it, it just hit me because if you look at, you know, OG Naruto, we had Tenten, we had Ino, we had Tamari, we had Hinata, we had Sakura. You know, we had more females to kind of work with. But here, it seems like Sarada and Chocho are the only real females there that matter. You know, everybody else is kind of fodder. Then we have the student council, what is it, the, 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 the class president, that's what it is, the class president, who I don't know who the hell she is, honestly, I have no clue. Um, obviously, if I look on the Wikipedia or the Narutopedia, maybe I'll know uh, by her last name or something, but I don't know. Uh, Denki is actually somebody that, you know, he's showcasing his skills here. He showcases his skills. He doesn't really know anything as a ninja, but he does know a lot about tech. Like, in, in this episode, he hacked the door and shit, which, you know, they were trying to see how they can go about getting inside, and they weren't able to do it. And this man put... He had a wire connected to his laptop that looked like a fucking seatbelt, and he plugged it into the door and, and unlocked it. Uh, but, you know what, fuck it, let's go back to the beginning. Alright, this episode, you know, opens up with Konohamaru doing the summoning jutsu, and they're trying to teach the whole class about the whole summoning jutsu and how it works. Uh, obviously, Boruto's trying to jump the gun and, and do it without doing a contract first or anything. And it leads into like this scuffle, right, between Sarada and Boruto. The whole time I'm thinking, why do they keep arguing, right? But I guess they're trying, they're just trying to do the whole, you know, uh, Naruto and Sasuke scenario, but they're trying to do it with their kids now. And uh, obviously it opens up to another scene where, you know, they're, they're at the lunchroom and Boruto wants this Jakisoba bread, Sarada wants it too. And it's funny because she blushes when she says, oh, uh, because you've been talking so much about it, it made me want to try it, right? Uh, and she kind of blushed and said it under her breath. But I, I hated this one scene where the girls came in in between that, in between that argument with the with the bread, and they were like, "Oh, are the boys doing something again? Like being busy bodies?" Like I hated that so much. But then Shino came in and basically prepared like a battleground for them uh, within the academy, and. How he set it up was they have to get this flag on top of the roof in order to win. And they were like, okay, cool. But it turns into this big fucking entertaining ass battle, which is pretty dope. It's, it's like a competition almost. And they actually give us a showcase of everybody that's important anyways. They don't showcase like the father or whatever. They showcase Sarada, Chocho, Iwabe, Boruto, Chikadai, Metal Lee, you know, so on and so forth. And it's pretty funny because... And made me, that's when it made me realize, yo, there is really not that many females within the Konoha 11, right? When you think about it, it's only Chocho and Sarada. Like, that's it, right? The other girls don't really count because they're not part of the Konoha 11. Unless they announce that, like, the student president or whatever, the class president, ends up being somebody from the Konoha 11, which I doubt. Uh, but I guess it has to do with the fact that not everybody in the other Konoha 11 ended up having kids. And obviously, you know, Neji passed away too, so uh, I guess there's less there's less characters to have kids in, in general, right? So, um, but, you know, it, it doesn't really matter, I guess, as long as they know how to really work with that. But uh, in the end, it actually seemed pretty cool, right? You know, they had this whole thing with the within the Ninja Academy where they had to get the flag. And Denki is just, you know, holy fuck, man, that man is hopeless. Uh, they had to leave the men behind because the dude couldn't get past the girls. And uh, by the very end, that's when shit starts getting like even crazier because uh, Boruto tries to do the summoning jutsu because he sees Chocho's about to grab the flag. He does the summoning jutsu and he ends up summoning what seems to be that fucking creature we saw in the last episode with the silhouette. Uh, and I, obviously we didn't get to, to see like what it actually was. Uh, I'm still going with the whole Chimera thing. But it looked, if if I have to say, it looked like a hybrid of, like, the third Hokage's ape almost in the face. When, like, when it got upset and, and, you know, it closed in into their eyes, it looked like the Hokage's ape. But because, you know, he has, like, a weird snake tail looking thing, I highly doubt that's what it is. I'm still going to keep my Chimera 
uh, theory on the wraps. You know, that's still going to be the main thing I'm going to uh, go for. But right now, so far, the Boruto series is going good. You know, it's going good. They're making it entertaining. They're making it actually fun to watch. And even though the idea of them being at the Academy is super mundane and boring, they're doing a good job at kind of keeping you uh, entertained and wanting to know more because they're driving this other narrative of, you know, what's going to happen. And I, by the way, because of what I saw in the preview, I have to mention this. I think they're doing too much with the with the Boruto eye. They're doing a little too much. Like, this is literally maybe the only episode where they haven't really shown Boruto's eye. The, the fourth episode was the only episode I didn't see that happen. But it seems the next episode that's going to activate again. And it's like, dude, I get it. You know, we all get it. He has this eye power. Can you please just stop showcasing it? Unless it, it becomes something where it advances in some fucking stage. That'd be kind of cool, you know. If, if you're going to show it off on the next episode... Let it advance to a different phase where like, okay, maybe Boruto is going to actually do something with it or it's going to do more than just read out Aura again, you know, because it's getting boring, it's getting played out and we're only at the at the fourth episode about to go to the fifth episode. All right. But let me know what you guys think of them using Boruto's eye power on almost every episode. Let me know what you guys think, because honestly, to me, I think they're doing it a little too much. All right. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this episode as well, because uh, me personally, I really liked it. I actually watched it a little later because I wanted to do the video without having to worry about whispering because it's too early in the morning and I don't want to wake up my neighbors. Uh, anyways, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done wasting your time. I'm out. Peace.